We are back inside the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. I'm joined today by a couple of guys who know a little bit about football. Rob Sims, Ron Rice, former Detroit Lions in the house. And we know a little bit about uh, somebody who knows a little bit about Twitter. That's Mike Foss. He's our sports producer. He's back in the control room and he has got some stuff for us. What's up, Mike? Hey, Justin. Hey, guys. Good morning to you. Uh, the uh, college football season as we get closer into the coming down the stretch in November with some of the key conference games coming up here. Uh, that is the focus of some of the Twitter chatter this morning. So we'll get into it. What the people are saying using the hashtag seven sports cave. Steven says Lions win today by a touchdown. MSU will not beat that team from Ohio. Let's go blue. And D Brooks says if we lost, I'm assuming this is a Michigan State uh, status. If we lost to Ohio State by three and they go on to win it all, I'll be heartbroken playoff or bust and I'll throw it back to you guys. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Michigan since we didn't get into them yet uh, when they come out and play Minnesota on Saturday, what they'll have to do coming out of the bye week uh, to jump back from the loss to Michigan State. Well, I, I agree with with Derek's tweet with the three points. If you end up losing to Ohio State in a heartbreaker and then you go on, you win the Rose Bowl, but all of a sudden Ohio State goes, they beat Baylor, they beat Alabama and they win it for the second year in a row and it was that close for you being that team, oof, mm. that makes that scenario not as much mm. fun. Mm. Yeah. I just would hate no. to see you know, the, 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 them to take a step back because look, we already have the narrative around here anyways that Michigan's back, and that Michigan State's never gonna win anything anymore anyways. They're back. Oh, absolutely, I mean, no, one, sure. no, one, no one's trying to deny that, yeah. but, but, the, but the narrative from the Michigan angle is, well, we're back, so forget about it, get out of here. Like, you you know no no we we got we, we got two really good programs here michigan and michigan state and i think at this point in time coming into next year we don't know what we're going to get we don't know if it's going to be michigan state at above michigan or michigan above michigan state or whatever in the past it's been all michigan state mm -hmm. and now that harbaugh's up there the, the thing is they trust and they believe in harbaugh they got a coach up there that they are playing for and they're playing hard for him He's got the track record. He's a former grad you know, or former player and grad. I, I'm assuming he graduated yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back then. But, I mean, they trust him. And when you trust and believe in your coach, you don't know what, you don't know what they're capable of in terms of the success level. Absolutely. I, I'd be interested. Do you, did you know any f players that played under Jim when they were in the NFL? I knew a few. What was their take on him? Um, you know, he, he's a tough coach, but he's one of those people that you, uh, you love to be around. You know, great motivator. Um, and then, um, you know, Michigan's back. You know, we're going to have Ohio State-Michigan rivalry for the next however many years, you know, how we keep, keep those guys at the, at the helm. And, uh, uh, you know, I think Michigan State can stay on that same path, you know. Um, and um, I think it's going to be a, the Big Ten is coming back now. And I think that's, what we, that's the most important thing is that we'll have that rivalry. You have that state-to-state -state rivalry, and then you'll have the you know, Ohio State-Michigan game. And um, it's going to be fun to watch. They just need to figure out the Big Ten, that is. They need to figure out how to get this playoff or the, the Big Ten Championship game worked out with the best two teams, this division thing. Yeah, the real line not working out. All right, coming up after the break right here on the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave, we're going to go over to the bar, and we're going to talk to a couple of guys who have been following the high school football season to a T. State champs is here, breaking down the playoffs next. <laughs> 